Long live the king. Bernardo? He. Oh, Bernardo. Welcome, Marcellus. Welcome, good Horatio. Has a secret again tonight? I have seen nothing. Horatio oh. says, tis but our fantasy. Peace, break thee off. Look, it comes again. It is the same figure like the king that is dead. Thou art a scholar, speak to it, Horatio. Where art thou that you serve this time of night to get out of that fair and warlike form in which the majesty of Bird Denmark sometime march? By heaven, I charge thee, speak! Tis gone, and will not answer. Stay! Speak, speak! I charge thee, speak! Tis gone, Horatio. How now, Horatio? You tremble and look pale. Is this something more than fantasy? For my God, I might not believe without the sensible and true about your blind eyes. But is it not like the king? As thou to thyself, it faded on the coin of the cock. Look to the more of the blessed man so tight. Walk to the dew of yon hands with him. Break your watch up, and by my advice, let's impart what we tonight, and the young man with the spirit done to us to speak to him. Dear brother's death, the memory be green, and that it us befitted to bear our hearts in grief, and our whole kingdom to be contracted in one brow of woe. Yet so far hath discretion fought with nature, that we with wisest sorrow think on him together with remembrance of ourselves. Therefore, our sometime sister, now our queen, the imperial jointers to this warlike state, have we, as twere with a defeated joy, with an auspicious and a drooping eye, with mirth in funeral, and with dirge in marriage, taken to wife. But now, what news, Laertes? What wouldst thou have? My thoughts and wishes bend again to folks' friends, and thou them to your gracious leave. But ask thou thy father's leave. What says Polonius? Have, my lord. Going we might still leave by their suspicion. In the last, upon his will, I stood by my consent. I beseech you, give him these go. Take thy fair hour, Laertes. Time be thine, and thy best grace is spending at thy will. But now our cousin Hamlet, and our son? A little more than kin, less than kind. How is it that the cloud still hangs on you? Not so, my lord, for I'm too much in the sun. Hamlet. Cast thy night of color off, and let thine eyes shine like a friend on Denmark. Do not with thy failed lids seek for thy father in the dust. You know it is common that all living things must die. I madame, it is common. Then why must it seem so peculiar with thee? Seems, madame? I know not seems. It is not alone in my inky cloak, good mother. Together with all forms, moods, shades of grief which can know me truly. These indeed seem, for they were things that a man might play. I have that which in me would pass his show, as we get the trappings and the suits of war. Tis sweet and commendable in your nature, Hamlet, to give these warning duties to your father. But you must know that your father lost a father. That father lost his. To persevere in obstinate condolement is a course of impious stubbornness. It is unmanly grief. It shows a will most incorrect to heaven. As for your intent in going back to school in Wittenberg, it is most retrograde to our desire. Hamlet, let thy mother not lose her prayers. Stay with us. Go not to Wittenberg. I will do all my best. Obey you, madame. Why, tis a loving and a fair reply. Be as ourself in Denmark. Come, madame. This gentle and unforced court of Hamlet sits 
smiling to my heart. Too salty flesh would melt. Ah, resolve itself into a dew. Let the everlasting not feast his cannon against self slaughter. God, God, how weary, stale, flats, unprofitable, seem all the uses of the world. I'm really guarded. Those to see this rank and gross in nature possess it merrily. Just come to this. Not two months dead. Nay, not so much two. Was so excellent a king was this Hyperion to a satyr. So loving to my mother that he might not but team the winds of heaven to visit her face too roughly. Heaven and earth must I remember. She would hang on him as if the increase of appetite grew by what it fed on. LT. My name is Woman. Hail to your worship. Horatio, I am glad to see you. I am very glad to see you. Uh, good evening, sir. But uh, what brings you to Windberg? What is your parent, Elsinore? My lord, a kinship was I think it was to see my mother's wedding. My lord, it's oh, Thrift ratio. Funeral bank needs to coldly furnish the marriage tables. I had met my dearest foe in heaven that had seen that day. My father. I think I've seen my father. Remember what? My mind's eye, Horatio. Remember what? I think I saw him yesterday. Saw who? My lord the king, your father. Do you not see that in the gentleman, Marcellus and Bernardo, on their watch in dead ways in the other night, with us a figure of your father? But where was that? My lord, upon the platform where we watch. Would you watch again tonight? We do, my lord. Then I too will watch. Pretend we'll walk again. I warrant it. If hitherto you have concealed the sight, let it be tangible in your silence still. Our duty to your honor. Your love is mine to you. Farewell. Your father's spirit of arms. All is not well. I doubt some foul play. The night will come. So then sit still, my soul. All the will rise, and all the world will run in men's eyes. <laughs> My necessaries are apart. Farewell. You for how much in the trifling of this favor? Hold it a fashion in the twine of life. No more but so. Think it no more. But he must fear his greatness weighed. His will is not his own, for he is the subject to his birth. And that he may not as his valued persons do, cause for himself, for upon his choice depends his safety and health in this whole state. Is your liberty board, board for shame? Wait to the shoulder of God's self and get your escape for there, my blessing with thee, he was free to be in thy memory. Look thou character, give thou thoughts, no touch, nor any other portion thou hast act. Be thou familiar, my no means will hear, if every... <laughs> <laughs> give every man thy ear, but few thy voice. <laughs> Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for a loan office both itself a friend, and borrowing no stand upon this, above all, can I own self be true, and it must follow us night and day. 
thou canst not then be false. Turn again. Most humbly do I take my name, my Lord. Farewell, <coughs> Peter. Remember well what I've said to you. Tis in my memory lock, and you yourself will keep the key of it. Farewell. What is the thing he has said to you? So please you, um, such a, something touching the Lord Hamlet. Very well, we thought. This Toby had talked of late, give us quite a time to you. He hath, my lord, of late, made many tenders of his affection to me. Affection, they call it. Do you believe these tenders, as you call them? I do not know, my lord, but I should think. Mary, I will teach you. My lord, he hath unfortunate me with love in honorable fashion. Fashion, they call it. Go to, go to. And hath given countenance to his speech. My lord, with all the holy vows of heaven. I spring to get your woodcocks, but you know that when the blood burns, the prodigal of the soul lends the tongue out. I would not in plain terms from this time forward, if I used to slander any moment's leisure to talk, give words to Lord Henry. Look to it, I judge. Come. You shall obey, my lord. Adieu, adieu, remember me. 
I entreat you both, that being of so young days brought up with him, to draw him on to pleasures, and to gather so much as from occasion you may glean, whether aught to him unknown afflicts him thus, that open lies within our remedy. Your visitation shall receive such thanks that fit a king's remembrance. Both your majesties might, by the sovereign power you have of us, put your dread pleasures more into command than into entreaty. But we both obey, and here give ourselves up in full bend to lay our service freely at your feet to be commanded. Thanks, Rosencrantz, and gentle Guildenstern. Thanks, Guildenstern, and gentle Rosencrantz. <laughs> <laughs> I beseech you to instantly visit my much too changed son. <laughs> my lord, you know what's this matter? That he is mad, tis true, tis true. Tis pity, and pity tis, tis true. With more matter and less art. Madam, I swear he's not a dog. But repent, I have done it. Have, while she's mine. Who, 
and your obedience. Mark, that's given you this. Now gather and serve. To the celestial, in my heart, title, most beautified Ophelia. This is ill fit, fine, beautified, ill fit. But you shall. Doubt that stars are fire, doubt that sun doth move, doubt the trip. Hammond, this is obedience. My dog hath shown. But how hath she received his love? What do you think of me? As of a man, faithful and honorable. I would fain prove so, that she should lock herself in his resorts, and he, repel, short tell to make, fell into a sadness, then into a fast, thence into a lightness, and by thence to quench him into madness, where he now raves, and all be mourned for. Do you think tis this? It may be very like. This, and this, that the other ones. How may we try it? You Further. Know, you know, he walks four hours together in your lodging. So he does indeed. At such time, I'll lose my daughter's room. Be you and I behind your ass. Mark the encounter. If he loves him not, and is for his reason not fallen thereon, let me be no assist for his day. But look, more sadly, the poor wretch comes reading. I will warn him for his Give me. Oh, does my good lord. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You're a fishmonger. Not time, my lord. Fishmonger? I would you were an honest man. Honest, my lord? Have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk I the sun. Conception is a blessing, but as your daughter may conceive, friend, look to it. Still harping, my daughter. What do you read, my lord? Words. Words. What's the matter? Between whom? I mean the matter you read. The satire rogue here says that all men have wrinkled faces, and their eyes are thick and they won't be gone, and they want to go out of the wind. For you yourself, sir, shall grow as old as I am. If like a crab, you've got to grow backwards. Will this be madness, if there is method in it? How pregnant sometimes can you put so. My lord, I will most humbly take my leave. You could not take anything from me that I would more willingly part with all, except my life. Except my life. God save you, sir. My honored lord. My most dear lord. My excellent good friends. <laughs> what brings you to Elsinore? Only to see you, my lord, no other occasion. Is it what you sent for? Is it a free visitation? Come, come, speak. What shall we say, my lord? That must you teach me. There is a certain confession between your looks. I know the good king and queen sent for you. To what end? I will tell you. I have of late lost all my nerve. In fact, it goes so poorly with my disposition that this earth seemed nothing but a stale promontory. The sky, the air, this excellent overhanging firmament fretted with golden fire seemed nothing but a pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work to man. How noble and reason. Form and moving, how express and admirable. And action, how like an angel, and apprehension, how like a god. And yet to me, see nothing but a convocation of dust. Man delights me not. Oh, no woman neither. Oh, but smiling, you seem to say so. Mm, my lord, there is no such stuff in my thoughts. I did do that when I did say it. Man delights me not. So think, my lord, if man delights you not, what Lenten entertainment these players shall get from you? Oh, my friend, thy face is now since I last saw thee. Will you see these players will the soap? God says. Could you play the murder of Gonzaga? Aye, my lord. Uh, could you put chance? Put down uh, some sixteen or a dozen lines, could you not? Aye, my lord. Very well. Good. 
Who does this to me? It cannot be that I am pigeon liver and mac gall. Make oppression bitter. Or arrow, I should have fatted all the region kites with this lane's opal. Bloody body villain. A vengeance. A mass am I. This is the most brave. I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to revenge by both heaven and hell, must like a whore unpack my heart with words? I have heard this guilty creature sitting at a play, and have so cunningly delivered, touched to the soul, proclaim their malefactions, that I shall have these players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. If a Dublin shall know my purpose, or the spirit I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power, yea, to damn me. All the grounds more relative than this. Play is a thing which to catch the conscience of the king. Devoutly to be wished. To die to sleep. To sleep perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub for in that sleep of death. What dreams may come? We have shuffled off this moral coral. Strange a land from whose bore no traveler returns. This is the will, and tis rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Conscience makes cowards of us all. Stop you now, fair being. Who does my good lord for this morning? Excellent well. My lord. Uh I have remembrances of yours that I have long longed to re-deliver. I pray you never see them. I never gave you up. You know right well you did, my lord. There, my lord. I did love you once. Indeed, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. Get thee to a nunnery. Why would thou be a breeder of sinners? We are errant names all. Believe none of us. <coughs> Where is your father? At home, my lord. And then the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere else but his own house. Farewell. Oh, help me, sweet heavens. For oh, woe is me to have seen what I have seen. <coughs> Some danger, which, for to prevent, he shall with speed to England, for the neglect of our neglected tribute. Happily, the seas, the countries, different with variable objects, shall expel this 
something settled matter in his heart. Madness in great ones must not unwatched go. Speak this speech, I pray you, trippingly on top. If you do, as our other players do, I'll leave the town crier to speak my lines. I do not saw the arm thus, but to keep roundness, roundness, and to be at smoothness. It offends me to the soul to hear that bitter, tattered wig fellow tear his passion to rags. I pray you, boy. I want your honor. Observe my uncle. If his occulted guilt do not unkennel in one speech, then is a damned ghost to be obtained. My imaginations are as foul as Vulcan's sin. How now, Hamlet? How does our cousin? Excellent well. I eat the air. Promise, crap. I have nothing with this answer, Hamlet. <coughs> oh, lady! May I like you with that? My lord? I mean my head, you will Hi, my lord. You are married, my lord. What should a man do but be married? Look how married my mother sits, and yet my father died within two hours. Nay, it is twice two months, my lord. Two months? Such as a great man's memory may outlive his life by half a year. For us and for our tragedy, here stooping to your clemency, do beg your hearing patiently. Was this the prologue of Posiana Rain? Tis brief, my lord. As a woman's love. Tis thirty years the hymen did our hands unite communal in most sacred bombs. So many journeys made the sun and moon. Make us again, can door ere love be done. Faith, I must leave you, love, and shortly too. My optimal power is a function to do. In second cousin, let me be accursed. Not not the second, but who killed the first. I do believe you think, or let me speak. Or would you determine, often great. Purpose is but slave to memory, the world is not for I, nor to straight, and even our love with our hope in change. But here in hence, pursue me lasting strength. If once a widow, ever I be a wife. To speak me sworn, sweet, but leave me here a while. My spirits grow dull, and I fare with the eye of each of these things. How doth you like this play? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. You shall keep a word. What do you call the play? The mousetrap! Tis a maid knavish piece of work. Or oh, that he have free souls, it touches us not. This one is Lucianus. Yeah, okay. You shall see how he makes love and on his wife. You are as good as a chorus, my lord. How fares, my lord? Give me some light! Away! Lights! Lights! Take the ghost's word for a thousand pounds. Did thou not proceed? I did, my lord. Upon the talk of poisoning. I did very well, though. My lord, the queen would speak with you, and presently. Shall speak with the queen by and by. I will say so. By and by is easily said. Leave me, friends. Now that very witching time of night, when the church's yards yawn, hell itself breathes up contagion into this world. Now I could drink hot blood and do such bitter business as the day would quake to look upon. Soft, now to my mother, heart lose not thy nature. I shall speak daggers to her, but use none. My lord, these doctors know 
Nine layer apps of the name itself, and here the process. Very well, Rakesh. Call upon your AEO today to tell you what I know. Thanks. Good, my lord. fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. Very soul. 
hole where I see such black and gray spots that will not be their taste. Your words like daggers enter my ears, me Hamlet. No more. No more. Save me, and hover over me with your wings, ye head in the darks. Alas, he is mad. Do not forget, his visitation is like a wet animal. But soft, amazing on another city. Step between her fighting sword, speak to her hand. How does it with you, lady? How does it with you? Where are you? Look, did you do better out of a vacancy? On him, on him. See how pale he glares. To whom do you speak this? Do not there. Look how he strokes away. My father has had it as he lived. <laughs> this is the very coinage of your brain. It's not madness which I have uttered. Mother, for the love of grace, confess yourself to heaven. Repent what is past and avoid what is to come. I do not spread the compost on the weeds to make them rancor. Hamlet, thou hast cleft my heart in way. Throw away the worst of part of it, and let it throw away the other half. Go not to my uncle's bed. It will seem a virtue if you have not. And if thou desirest to be blessed, all blessing may be given. Of this same gentleman I do repent, but heaven hath pleased it so. What shall I do? Go not to my uncle's bed. Let him pinch you on his cheek or call you his mouse. For a pair of breachy kisses make you unravel all this matter out that I essentially am not in madness, but mad in fact. Be thou sure, words be made of breath, and breath be made of life, then I have no life to breathe with what thou hast said to me. I must to England. You know that? Alas, I had forgotten, so it is concluded on. My two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will add his fang, must marshal my way to neighbor. Let it work. This same fellow will send me packing. I'll lug his guts into the neighbor's room. Come, sir. Good night, Bob. Not there. 
secret in the other place yourself. But if you find the knock within the month, you shall know soon as you go upstairs to the lobby. Go seek him there. He shall stay till you come. <laughs> Hamlet, for thine own special safety, for England, for England, I Hamlet, to England. Very well, mother, thy loving father, Hamlet. No, my mother, father and mother. Now as man and wife, man and wife are as one flesh, and therefore my mother. <laughs> Away, for everything is sealed and done. And England, if my love thou holdst at heart, by letters conjuring to that effect, the present death of Hamlet, do it, England. She speaks much of her father. She says that she hears those tricks in the world, and she hands and beats at her heart. Oh, here she comes now. There's some fennel 
And some Columbine for you. There's some room for you. Here's some for me. No, you must wear your room for difference. There's a daisy. I would give you some violets, but they all withered when your father died. Documented madness. Thoughts and remembrance fitted. Mine, sir. 
I know it would be nine, but that was mine. For my part, I don't know. I in it. Here is mine. What man is to be buried? No man, sir. And what woman then? None either. Who is to be buried in it? One that was a woman, but rest his soul. She's dead. <laughs> Absolute name. How long has that been a great maker? Very dear young Henry was born, some 30 years. Ah, here's the skull now. This skull had been in the ground some three and 20 years. <laughs> and whose was that? A horse of that fellow's it was. The same skull, sir, was yours, the king was jester. Ah, even that. <laughs> Alas, poor York. I knew him well, Ratio. Hello, infinite jest. Bore me on his back a thousand times. Did not know how poor my imagination is. My gorse eyes. Tis very hot. It is very cold. 
Ну, он не сделал он на
I did in Venom 2. And Venom to thy work.